Enter Amadou Afaba, a Senegalese co-Africa volunteer who has been serving at the Talika refugee camp since 2017. In collaboration with JRS and the Dream Team, a group of young basketball players from the camp, Alpha initiated a project to facilitate the construction of a new court. A proposal was written to NBA Africa. So I arrived here in Malawi in uh, October 2017 and uh, after one month of pre-service training in uh, Deza, I, I was placed here in uh, Zaleka refugee camp. So for me, I said to integrate in a community, you need to see ways. So the only way I saw was to come to play basketball with the guys. So I played with them uh, three times or five times. So the last time I lost my shoes because the how the court was and I said it's better to stop because if I continue uh, I will have injuries. In response to this, identified by the community at the camp, Alpha together with other implementing partners, JRS, UNHCR and the Dream Team secured funding from the NBA and built a basketball court to bring youth development and empowerment to refugees at the camp through the love of basketball. And uh, what pushed me more to seek funding for them, it was one day I was coming from the mosque, it was a Friday. It was uh, two days before the Tumen festival. I saw them uh, with uh, three bags of cement. I asked them, uh, where did you find this? And they told me they contribute each other 200, 300 to get it because they really want you to enjoy the festival by playing basketball. And I said, oh, I think these guys, they are so committed. We need to do something for them. As NBA, we know they are. They have NBA cares. We are doing uh, many projects around the world uh, to help the people from the scratch, from the scratch, to improve their skills in basketball. So when I came here to inform the guys, like uh, the, the, the good news, they couldn't believe me because they said no, it's impossible. Because NBA, you know, NBA, it's a big word for them. But after we had a meeting, they said, okay, this is true, and it means like uh, their dream is becoming true. So here today at this refugee camp, you know, just similar to what we have done in so many other countries on the continent, you know, we, we hear, we, we understand that Malawi um, has, the youth of Malawi is very, very uh, passionate about the game of basketball, so we figure it was important for us to um, partner with our um, Corps Africa and to try to give back to the community of Zaleka. As you have seen, uh, at the past time before we built it, uh, they didn't have this, uh, they, have, they had uh, the willingness to play, but not to come earlier. But nowadays, it's every, uh, sometimes it's 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. they came here to, to practice. And uh, in the afternoon, there are many people who are coming to watch to, to enjoy the game. It means like uh, they exactly know what they have and they know how to take it seriously because all of them, each of them, if you ask them what is your dream is to be a big player like uh, uh, Stephen Curry and so on. So now having this court for them uh, means like uh, they are doing their best and they are improving and they know exactly this is ex um, the real way to improve their skills and also to achieve their dreams. and the excitement from the players themselves is priceless. The dream to make it big in the sport is now looking closer to be achieved. In my opinion, I see a lot of opportunities here. For example, I play in a very good terrain. I like it a little bit. I like it at ease when I play here. It's like if Mon talent commence, commence déjà à, à être là en fait. 
un autre, un, un autre opportunité que je trouve ici. Euh, J'espère que en jouant ici, je serai un très bon basketteur. Hein. Je, terrain, je serai un très bon joueur ici. Et je, je serai comme les autres, euh, comme, comme les gens, de, par exemple, on voit à la télé, comme les gens des de NBA. Hein. Je serai aussi capable d'être comme, comme eux. Parce que euh, ici, ici c'est bien. Je vais développer euh, quoi, les, euh, les teamwork avec, avec mes collègues ici. Je vais aussi développer mon talent. Et enfin, un jour, d'être comme les stars, <rire> d'être comme les stars des NBA, les stars de par-ci par-là. Uh, I'm so excited with the with the new coach because uh, now I'm sure I can prove my skill and uh, more people can play basketball here in, in, in the camp and uh, they can have skills like us because uh, the new coach what it uh, it helped the kids and everyone to improve their skills. It's not like the old coach. The old coach were it was uh, like uh, people were not serious with the old coach. Now everyone needs to play basketball because uh, we are having a new coach. I'm sure this time we're gonna do great because this coach has motivated a lot of kids. You can even look now like it's like everyone is wants to play basketball. Uh, so we're gonna do a good job, a great job, because we're gonna develop a lot of players. Uh, so they are really motivated by this court as well. When you have this new court is very fine. We're having more girls. We are playing very. It's now safe. You are playing more confident. You know that even if I fail, I fall down. It's okay. I'm not going to have a very big injury. Yeah, because injuries in in basket in all sports are normal, but this one it will be not very. It will simplify the improvement of basketball. The dribbling will be like simple movement, what whatsoever, it will be simple. The court is not just a place for sports recreation. It's a place for unifying the youth for Daleka with a diverse population. The new basketball court is an opportunity for inclusiveness and personal development and growth for most. If you have seen, like in the camp, there are many youth. Like uh, some of them, they don't have chance to go to school. So for us, we said like, uh, if we really need to help them, it's better to do something with them. And uh, this basketball court, I think it is a good uh, news for them. So for the girls, uh, you know, girls, female, they are always vulnerable. And uh, and I think with this court now, as you have seen, they have, they are more confident and also they come every time to practice and they are prospecting. They know exactly what they want and um, what is uh, the best thing for me is now they are with their brothers, uh, their, 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 their old brothers, everyone, to protect them. So now we can see they are family. So being a family, it means like you are in security, you are in safety. So for them, like uh, they feel at ease to play and they don't have any worries about it. I think we need to build more infrastructure. We need to do this not alone, but we need to work with local stakeholders such as the basketball federations and also the Ministry of Sports and the government in general and any other NGOs in, 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 in Malawi that really have, um, you know, like as a mandate to help Malawian youth. I think together we can actually um, help a lot of kids actually use the game of basketball they have even a great education, you know. As you know, basketball is not just a game uh, where you just play, you know. Education and the game well, they go together, hand to hand. So you can use it to become a pilot, um, you can get a scholarship to play overseas and come back home and give back to the communities. Um, you know, basketball is a great, great and tremendous sport for young people uh, to, to play and enjoy. So we came here together with Core Africa to work with the team to try to create um, a plan for sustainability for the court because launching and creating a court for Dream Team, number one goal, it was done. But there's a lot more that can happen. How can we create a sense of community? How can you create a sense of 
inclusion using the court. Um, and that means not just for the good players, but bringing in the young guys, the young girls, the older folks that want to come out and play, creating a, a place that they can come out and play. Um, we talked a lot about uh, creating uh, not only diverse opportunities, because as you know, the camp has people from everywhere, um, but making sure that it's truly inclusive. So how can we create a space that everyone truly feels comfortable to come uh, and take part and really grow in, in, the, in the game of basketball? This new development is not only serving Zalika. The camp's Sezobo League-owned basketball team, the Dream Team, has found a home for Central Zone Basketball League Sezobo. This is an opportunity to continue growing the sport. As Basketball Association of Malawi, this is a moment of great excitement and we are jubilated to see this uh, development uh, of a basketball court at Zalika Refugee Camp. We should all remember that uh, here at the camp is one of the home for one of the basketball teams in Malawi, which is Dream Team. It is an affiliate of Central Zone Basketball League and definitely an affiliate of Basketball Association of Malawi. So this is an opportunity for one of our teams in having a home court and also the community of Zaleka and Doha District to benefit from uh, this infrastructure right here in Doha. What we are looking to achieve is one, integration between Malawian citizens and also the refugees at the camp. Because when refugees come to Malawi, they feel a little bit isolated. We want to bring that integration through the love of basketball. And this is what we're doing today. What we have done is uh, through the volunteer who came here, his name is Alpha Bar. He has come up with a sustainability plan which will allow the dream team, as we call it, to sustain the court. And this is going to be done in collaboration with allowing other basketball teams in the country to come and use this basketball court uh, through paying fees and also just maintaining it. Uh, every player as well will be contributing a fee because not every player is um, just sitting idle. They are working and earning a salary, so they will be also contributing monthly to the maintenance of the court. Integration of the Dream Team into Sezobo and other major basketball leagues is not only paramount, but also for all the players, fans and everyone at the camp has an opportunity to integrate easily using basketball. I think sports in itself, just the act of teamwork, uh, discipline, um, there's teamwork, discipline, leadership, it's something that is not valued, I think, sometimes, especially in young women, um, but leadership is what you need for everything outside the court as well. Um, but those are just the basic things that come with just a ball um, or even just, you know, having a coach. But also, I mean, there's opportunities to play and see things that you normally wouldn't see. There's at least there's teams in Malawi that are right now in Iswatini. There's teams that go to Zambia, Zimbabwe that are recruiting. Um, there's recruits coming around. Like there's a lot of opportunity just to play, get out of your comfort zone as a team and to learn and to see other, other people as well. The, one of the opportunities is like uh, for sure we will see like uh, the dream team improved. We will see dream team like uh, winning uh, league here in Malawi. This is our dream and I'm sure this dream will come true. Uh, for individually, uh, we have some of them who are playing at Breakers. We have one of them, uh, so where is, yeah, this guy, uh, Amisi. Now he's playing with uh, Dream uh, Breakers. So another one is two girls who just came in the camp. They just arrived uh, one month ago. So someone told me they used to play in, in, in Congo. So they travel from Congo to here uh, for four months to join, uh, to, to reach Malawi. So they came here alone, they are sisters, they don't know anyone here and you know sometimes when you come here fresh like uh, you are so vulnerable, Any, anything can happen to you. So someone told me it's better to meet them because they used to play in Congo and so on. We went to meet them and uh, explained them what we are doing. In the afternoon they, they joined us and we gave them the ball to, to see what they are able to do but th that time we were amazed. and. Uh, they are those sisters, the red and the, the, the yellow. So for them, I think the opportunities will be coming for them soon because 
with the coach Amy, uh, we are planning to see how we can make the link with some of the teams in Malawi so that they can join those big leagues because they have the skills. I can say they are the best here now in Nzaleka. And we have many girls like that, but uh, we have to, 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 to make a, maybe a meeting with the community leaders to call them to join us. Even for my Muslim sisters, last time I, I was here and I saw one of them playing with the scarf. I was amazed and the way she was dribbling the ball, I said, no, I think this one really need to join us. And uh, what we are looking for now is just to make a meeting with them and to sensitize them about basketball. Because for my Muslim brothers and sisters, they think like uh, some of the sports is not for women. And uh, if you realize now how many players, they are Muslim, they, are, they have the dignity, they also are gaining a lot of money and they are famous and they are doing great jobs. So this is what we are looking for, to show them those role models, to tell them being uh, Muslim or being uh, this tradition doesn't mean you want to lose it when you're playing basketball. The new NBA built court at Zaleka is not just a basketball court, there's a lot. The sport is not only just a discipline, but a tool to human development and relationships. Apart from exposure of the players to scouts from within Malawi and outside the country, the newly built coach is also a life skills tool for girls in the camp. This is an opportunity to divert themselves from acts of idleness that exposes them to be vulnerable to HIV and AIDS. Yeah, because we'll be keeping them here at the court uh, every, every two, every, every day afternoon. We'll be coming, they'll be coming and practicing so they'll not have time to, to be sitting and let me say going to going to do bad behaviors c'est que je pense il y a beaucoup de parents qui disent que les filles ne peuvent pas pratiquer ça euh ils pensent que en étant fille et qu'on pratique ça on peut être de pite de quoi mais c'est que moi j'ai dans la tête je sais que si tu es focus tu as un objectif Donc euh, nous ici on a des objectifs, donc on vient ici, on apprend, on sait qu'un jour on peut être dans un billet si Dieu le veut, euh, c'est ça. Uh, my dream is that I want to be a big player, like the ones that I watch in televisions like Stephen Curry, Lebron James, I want to be like them, people should be seeing me in televisions. Like the